สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I am making a popular Thai street food that happens to also be vegetarian. I'm making something called Tau Hu t o t Tau Hu means tofu and t o t means deep fried. So it's crispy fried tofu and it comes with a sweet chili peanut dipping sauce. Oh, if you're thinking I'm not a tofu person, just hang in there because the sauce is good on deep fried anything. Let's get started. This sauce is similar to that sweet chili dipping sauce that you see on grocery store shelves, but it is so much better and so worth the time. So I'm going to start out with some prik chi fa or spur chilies, which are these big, mild-ish Thai chilies. You can also substitute. Other types of red chilies or bell peppers, if you want it not spicy at all. And yes, it's frosty because I freeze these. And all this is just going to go into the blender. And I'm also going to throw in a clove of garlic. And now all the liquid. I've got some water and just some white vinegar. In Thailand, the only kind of vinegar that we use is actually white vinegar. We don't have all sorts of fancy different types of vinegar like. Here in North America, and I'm going to add another source of acid that's going to add a little extra dimension, and that is tamarind. Okay, and now I'm just going to get that into a pot. All right, so we've got all our acid, our sour, in this pot. Now the sweet, granulated sugar to add a little bit of a caramelly. Flavor. I'm gonna add some chopped palm sugar, and of course, a little bit of salt, just to bring everything together. I'm gonna let this come to a simmer and let it simmer for a few minutes, just until it's thick and has that dip consistency. So it's been simmering for a few minutes, and you want to kill the heat. Just when it's still a little bit too runny, because as it cools, it will thicken up a little bit. So the sauce has cooled down, and so I like this consistency. See, it's thick and dippable, perfect. Now I'm gonna taste it and see if I need to adjust it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more vinegar. Now it's time to finish it off with, first of all, some chili flakes. Okay. Now you could just add some fresh Thai chilies and blend it all up. A little bit of spicy is good, and peanuts make it even more viscous, so it'll stay on the tofu, and it also balances out the tartness. You can add more or less peanuts, completely up to you. And if you're allergic to nuts, you can also try ground sesame seeds. Cilantro, some chopped up cilantro. Now, I wouldn't add the cilantro until you're ready to serve, okay? Because otherwise, it'll just wilt and not look great. Now, ooh, that looks good and it smells really good now. All right, so here's the sauce. Here's my tofu, which I've cut into triangles. So I am using firm tofu, okay? Because that's traditionally what we use because it's street food, it's finger food. So soft tofu is not going to hold very well. Also, firm tofu will fry up crispier around the edges. I'm also going to salt my tofu a little bit, and this is just my trick. They don't do this in Thailand, but I find that if the tofu itself has some seasoning, it's yummier. After salting, I just let the salt sort of sit there for a few minutes so that it dissolves on the surface of the tofu. I've got my oil here heating up, and you want this at about 375, a little hotter than normal. Tofu likes to travel towards each other, and they may stick to each other. That's okay. Let them stick for a while. Don't hurry up and and pull them apart because you'll tear them. So let them firm up a little bit. Once they are firm on the outside, then you can pull them apart. Okay, so give them a minute or so, and you could stir them and keep them moving. To prevent them from sticking to each other, but careful because they like to stick to your tongs as well. So I'm just gonna go for a light golden brown. If I fry them for too long, you're gonna dry out the tofu more and more and more. So here they are, nice and golden and crispy around the edges. In case you're wondering, what happens if you use soft tofu? I fried some up. This isn't super soft tofu. It's sort of medium soft tofu, and so what happens is, as you can see, they 
a little bit wrinkly because there's so much water and the water leaves the tofu and then so it shrinks and wrinkles and also it's not crispy. If you want to fry soft tofu, you want to coat it in breadcrumbs or, or some sort of a, a breading on the outside like when they make agadashi tofu, then the coating will protect the tofu and the coating gets brown and crispy and the soft tofu inside gets protected. Now we eat this as a snack in Thailand, sort of, you know, the three o'clock snack, but it's a great dish to serve as an appetizer at a party. Your, all your vegetarian friends will be happy. There you go. And add a little extra peanuts on top just to, you know, represent what's inside. Also a little extra cilantro. Ta-da! Dip. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. So good. You've got sort of the crispy edges, but it's also chewy on the outside and soft on the inside and the, the sweet tartness of the dipping sauce with that a little bit of spiciness from the roasted chili flakes. Oh my god, this is one of those things where you just, you just can't stop eating. So the next time you've got some friends over and you're looking for an appetizer that's different with a bit of zing, make some tauhu tart. Oh, and as I said, this dipping sauce, good on deep fried anything. So the recipe is on hotthaikitchen.com. If you make this, send me a photo and send it to me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. And so there they are, nice and golden and crispy around the edges. Now, 